Hello everyone, this is Cindy with My Altered Muse, and I am here <clears throat> to make Tag 10 of the 52 Tag Challenge, and this tag, um, we are making a yo-yo, um, and I've already had some, so I'm just using one I had. But, um, I can tell you what the size was of this one. I used this jaw. Let me raise you up a little bit. There. I used this jar. And let's see. It is two and a half inches across. Okay. So, I drew a circle, I cut it out, and then I just gathered and pulled. Okay, um, I think what I'm going to do first is go ahead and make my stem that's going up. And I am just going to use a... A split stitch and what that is or that's what I call it you just come up and then you come down okay then you come up right this it's hard to do it on this material it's so little then you come up right in the middle of your of your um stitch and then you're gonna go back down and then you're going to come up in the middle of that one and you're gonna go back down now, when I was learning to stitch, it wasn't called slow stitching. It was called embroidery. And um, this stitch was called the running stitch. So, I don't know. It may have a new name now. But I'm using it to make my stem. From This is going to be a flower. And you can do this and make it curved. You can, um, you know, you can run it all over everywhere you want to. I'm just kind of going down. It may be a little crooked, but that's okay. That's what stem on flowers do. Okay. And I'm going to come up one more time. And I'm going to go down. And then I'm just going to um, tie it off. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'm just going to snip that, and we have the start to our flower, and I'm going to put this right there, but let's go ahead and um, actually, let me put a couple of leaves right there. I'm going to make the um, leaves out of the Lazy Daisy stitch and I'm just going to put one on this side. You're going to come up, pull your thread all the way and then you're going to go back down in that same stitch. You're going to come up Pull your thread through, and I'm going to leave it real loose. I don't want it to be tight. I want it to, um, you can pull them tight, and it makes them smaller in the middle. 
but um, I kind of like it like that. Okay, I think for right now we're just going to let that be it because um, there's not a whole lot of room on this um, piece of material I'm working on. So we're just going to let it have one leaf. Okay, now let's go ahead and I better set my timer. Okay, um, now what I want to do is I'm going to just stitch this flower down and I'm just going to do what's called a whip stitch, or that's what I call it. My needle's got a big eye on it because I'm using embroidery thread. And um, it's a little bit hard to get it through all this. I hope everybody's doing okay today. And... Um, I hope y'all are still hanging with me on this challenge. I just hope she doesn't get real complicated or I'm going to be in trouble because I only know simple stitching patterns. But we'll see. I've got a, I actually have a book. And um, if she gets something that I don't know how to do, I can, I can look it up. But I love the, um, this is called a, um, uh, a pinwheel or a, um, people used to make pillows out of, the, pillow tops out of these. In fact, when I, ouch, when I was much younger, I made one. You take and you just make a whole bunch of these and then you sew them together all the way around, you know, and you have this big square, and you, um, you put it on a pillow, and then you go back and tack it down. That was many, 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 many moons ago, so, um, yeah, I don't think anybody now does that. I used to spend the summers with my grandmother's. And um, her and my mother both were um, avid, avid stitchers. So um, I learned to stitch when I went to my grandmother's. And I don't know if y'all remember or not. You probably don't. In the dime stores and wherever you could buy little um, pillowcases and dresser scarves and that kind of thing that already had the pattern stamped on it. And uh, that's what I used to do. Um, counting cross stitch wasn't even heard of then. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, we got this down. Now I'm going to tie this off. Just going to bring the thread through. Oops, don't get it so tight. I'm going to bring the thread through a couple of times. And, um, okay, now what I want to do is uh, I want to take some yellow thread and I'm going to come up in the middle of my flower and I'm going to go back down, still in the center. And I am going to leave it about like that. Okay, that's two. All I'm doing is just, just I'm going down and coming up instead of pulling my thread all the way through. 
I'm stopping wherever you want to stop you know it's it doesn't it doesn't matter um, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with this in a minute There we go. Now you can also, you know, you can do um, French knots in the center of it. You could sew a button. Um, you could put some bling. There's a whole lot of things you can do in the middle of these. I think I'll just keep going till um, I finish up this piece of thread here. Might as well. It's getting kind of tight. Okay, I think I'll do one more and then I think I'm going to quit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oops, I made a mess back here. That's okay. It's not going to show. I'm going to turn this and just... Yeah, I did make a mess. <laughs> My grandmother would not have been happy. <laughs> that was um, just as the back was just as important as the front. Okay, now we're going to take And we're going to snip these. Okay. Now, I'm going to take, and I'm going to pull them all together, and I'm going to put my finger there, and I'm going to trim them. See, I might need to do it more. I kind of like that. I'm going to leave it like that for right now. Now, the next thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to show you how to make a little butterfly. So we're going to make it right here. And you're going to... Come up. And you're going to come behind. And you're going to pull right here. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going to show you how to make a butterfly. <gasps> Oh, man, I haven't done one in years. I should have practiced. Okay, let's see here if I can salvage this. <laughs> Just a minute, folks. Okay, well... Then, you're going to come up again, 
and you're gonna go down this it's very hard on this little piece then you're gonna come up yeah I think I missed this part <laughs> you wrap it around <laughs> Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to come down and tack it. Now, since this is so small, let me tie this off and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Let's hang on one minute. You can do... Um, two sets of wings but since this is such a small little um, area we're just gonna do one okay and I'm going to snip that off now I'm gonna get my black and I'm just gonna come right behind it <clears throat> and then I'm going to come over a little bit and make his cute little body okay now I'm going to make his wings if I can I mean his antennas okay and then we're going to come right here. Come right back down to that bottom stitch again. Then we're going to come back up. And we're going to make a little, um, oh, wait a minute. Major problem here. Unthreaded, and you know me and trying to thread a needle. There we go. Oh, nope, that ain't crap. There, we got it. Okay, now what I want to do is we're going to take and we're just going to wrap this around one time and we're going to go back down at the end of the little antenna and we're going to make a little dot there and then we're going to come over to this one and we're going to wrap, wrap it around one time and... Ugh, Sorry, folks. Okay. Okay, we're gonna... Wrap this around, stick it back down, come through, and we have a butterfly. Okay, let me tie this off. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, there it is. And I may trim, I think I'm going to trim this off just a little bit more. Okay, that's better. Okay, I think I'm just about out of time. So the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch this down real quick. And, um... So this is number 10, and I think it turned out pretty cute. 
Okie doke. Um, oh, this right here, I just gathered up some um, some um, seam binding ribbon and just tacked it right there just to kind of give it a little pizzazz. And uh, yeah, I think that turned out really, really cute. And I love the butterfly. I haven't made one of those since I was a kid. Okay. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it so much. And I've got my tag ready. I, I did it in pink cardstock that I got from Michael's. So they have some really great colored cardstock. So I'm just going to slide this on there like that. And she's ready to go. Okay, thank y'all so much. I appreciate you hanging around with me. And I hope everybody's safe and well. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.